Hey everybody, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Welcome back to our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So we covered a lot so far in the design tab, but there's actually some miscellaneous settings that don't really fall into one of those other categories, so I didn't know where to put them. So we're just gonna call this miscellaneous design settings um, in the design tab for making Divi responsive, all right? Some of these are actually kind of helpful, um, dividers or transform and things like that. Some of those are really important to adjust on tablet and phone. So let's take a look at some of these and see what we can learn. All right, so since we're going over the design tab, let's go into sections and I'm gonna go over a couple more settings. We actually get a new toggle in sections here and as, as opposed to in, in any other module, it's called dividers. And in here, we we can change the everything about the dividers almost for different devices so let's say for for desktop here i want to have you know this this divider here it's really ugly but hey so i also want it to be the standard height and repeat like normal and flip and all this stuff okay all this stuff is adjustable per device now one thing that i would normally do for dividers is the height and I doubt you would want to change a whole lot of the other things but you might but you can see the height and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just make it like half the height or something like that for mobile so that's something you can do but again there's other settings here you know maybe you <laughs> wrong wrong one but let's see if we can actually change the divider style I think we can so if I want this on mobile and then on desktop I want a different one Wow, yeah, that's really nice. Um, just don't do what I just did. I didn't open this responsive tab, and then I made it 50 everywhere. Okay, so again, when you apply something without opening these up, it applies everywhere. But if you select one, it'll apply just for that breakpoint. Another group of settings that we can find pretty much everywhere is the border. Now, some of the border settings are not responsive, but the, the roundedness is, um, the border width is. So now we could, you know, change the roundedness of this based on our breakpoints. Um, some of these, like this one, I really wish they added it for here. A lot of times I want to add a border to the right. Let's say if I have like this module and I want to add a border here. But then when they stack, I don't want it on the right. I want it on the bottom. So I hope they add that soon. Um, another a border collar. You can change the border style based on device. So that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of different settings here with the border. And then filters. This is something I have never used in my entire life using Divi. But go for it. If you need to use these filters all of them have the three breakpoints so you're going to be good to go if that's something you're into and the same with transform i still haven't used transform controls um, but if you have they do have responsive you know toggles here for each one of these so if you're if you're transforming an object like this column you better be adjusting for mobile okay because if I had just done this and done it like that without having the tabs open and then I switched to mobile for this row. So, wow, it's completely off the screen. So we're going to want to turn this on and adjust our position here for um, different devices. Wow, that's a really good use case for how to make your website optimized for mobile. If you're using transform controls at all make sure that you're using you know adjusting this for each device all right so that's a look at some of the other miscellaneous design settings there in the design tab all right so that's pretty much it for this section next we're going to be going over to the advanced tab and diving in there for some fun all right we'll see you over in that lesson